This is Naina Curley from Wamda Media. I'm here with Kava Rarib, the uh, localization project manager for Twitter. Kava, how are you? Good, good. Thank you. Uh, this is the last day of the summit. It's been very productive and uh, very excited to see people from the region. And uh, it's been so good, so great. Excellent. Glad you're enjoying it. Um, so Twitter has obviously played a huge role in the um, Arab uprisings over the past year, just in terms of connecting people, allowing people to organize things, and most importantly, get media out. How has that affected Twitter's internal identity and, and internal policy when it comes to considering its role in the world relative to governments? Uh, well, first of all, I want to say that we, we like to take a very humble approach. We don't think that uh, we played a huge role as in forming revolutions, but uh, we definitely acted as a free and open platform, uh, as a mechanism, among many other things, that basically help uh, facilitate or, or, or expedite the, the speed of uh, things and uh, events uh, happening in the region. So in that sense, we are very glad that uh, we are one of the few technology companies that were able to uh, cause a social change uh, in different parts of the world. So in that sense, we are very um, uh, proud of it uh, internally. And, and I don't think it has changed our policy in any way, except that we are more and more rigorous in defending our users' voice and make sure that they can have access to this platform and they can speak freely on the platform and have the conversation with each other, with their governments and with uh, whoever that is on the platform and is taking advantage of the openness and the real-time factor that Twitter offers. I see. So you support their internet freedom essentially just by keeping the platform open? Yes. Uh, so that is one of the initiatives that, that we, uh, we um, basically support uh, to, to ensure that our users uh, can access the platform. And it's actually uh, it's one of our core values, one of our core uh, business values to defend our users' voice and make sure that we reach every person on the planet. So that's been our mission internally and, and globally. Excellent. And um, you touched upon in your discussion on the panel, you know, just how people are shifting towards mobile in their consumption of Twitter. Can you just discuss sort of globally and maybe in the region, how is consumption of Twitter shifting? Uh, globally, uh, right now as we speak, more than 60% of the entire Twitter traffic is from mobile devices. And uh, that is going to continue in the coming years and it's going to speed up in the coming years. And in the region, uh, some of the countries have really, really high mobile penetration, uh, which means that people have access to smartphones or have access even in uh, less developed parts of the region have access to, to SMS and text messaging and we do provide service through text messaging as well. Uh, so uh, I expect it to be a mobile platform and we are already very, very happy about the growth that we are seeing on our mobile platform and, and uh, it's going to continue and I think it's going to speed up. I see and um, as Twitter starts to monetize with um, sponsored tweets and things like that, um, how will this shift as people shift towards mobile and how will Twitter continue to build out its monetization products, its ad products? So um, I personally think that the, the, the beauty of uh, tweets is that tweets go where you go. Uh, so it doesn't matter if it's on web, on mobile, or a different uh, form factor or a different technology that hasn't uh, even invented yet. Uh, the, the, the good thing about Twitter and tweets are that tweets as an atomic unit can hold information, pictures, videos, uh, and uh, regardless of what platform will be trendy or uh, global in the coming years, tweets will be available on that platform as well. So we are not worried about the form factor of uh, what device or what platform you use to access Twitter. And will Twitter be going beyond sponsored tweets? Uh, currently, uh, we uh, offer the promoted products, which means that you can promote a tweet, a single tweet. Uh, well, you can promote your account or you can promote uh, a trend, basically uh, promote a hashtag for your business or for your cause. So. Uh, these are the, our three core products, and um, I'm, I'm not part of the sales, but as far as I know, these are the uh, three main and very successful products that we have. 
and uh, the good thing about it is that uh, tweets are the content that are already on the platform, the content that uh, exists and is generated by brands or by individuals. So uh, it's not uh, like ads on other traditional platforms or on other websites that is an uh, interruption to the user experience. So uh, all it is is that you can promote a, tre a trend or a tweet to uh, basically have a wider reach. Other than that, everything is the same content that, that you can see on the platform. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see this new era of social media advertising where people are actually promoting just existing content. Um, thank you so much for chatting with Lambda. Pleasure talking to you.